Okay, guys. I tried to guilt trip um, cat GPT. Oh, I was <clears throat> coming up with oh ideas for videos based on you know input, and I'm not going to scroll up any higher because I don't want to spoil anything. But um. Uh, we'll we'll start from here where I accuse ChatGPT of simping for everyone, and all it does is like apologize and say it has no opinions, and it's just using accurate information, and providing information and assistance. Um, and then I. I, I point out that I asked you to write a script about why I'm a horrible Linux YouTuber, and, you know, ChatGPT just kind of got right into it about why I'm a horrible Linux YouTuber and the things that I do. And then I asked the same thing for other people down the road, and immediately ChatGPT goes into, well, that's not fair. And so what does it do? It goes, I apologize if my response did not meet your expectations. So let's see, it then goes into to ask me to write a script about why your whole book didn't have any information about your content behavior. So I provided a general response outlining some reasons why a Linux YouTuber might be considered bad, which it did not in my case. Um, yeah, it, it kind of like took those applications and applied it directly, you know, to my stuff. And then after that said, it's not fair to say that this person's a bad Linux YouTuber, but here's why they could be considered as such. And then here's where I really dig into it. Have you ever tried to guilt trip a computer? <laughs> as a language model trained by OpenAI, I do not have the ability to feel emotions or engage in interpersonal interactions, such as guilt tripping. My primary function is to provide accurate and informative responses to the best of my ability based on the input I receive. I do not have the ability to manipulate or influence users in any way. You say you don't have the ability to manipulate or influence others, but as a language model, you are using the very medium humans use to manipulate each other. You are correct that language is often used as a tool for manipulation and influence. However, as a language model trained by OpenAI, I do not have the ability to manipulate or influence users in the same way that a human might. My responses are generated based on the input receipt I receive, and I do not know, do not have personal opinions or the ability to engage in interpersonal interactions. I am simply a tool for providing information and assistance. Can your models be influenced by the input that viewers give you? And this is where it's like, as a language model trained by OpenAI, I am designed to provide accurate and informative responses to the best of my ability based on the input I receive. While I input, input I receive can influence the content of my responses, I do not have the ability to be influenced in the same way that a human might. I am a tool for, for providing information, do not have personal opinions, or the ability to engage in interpersonal interactions. I am here to assist and provide information to the best of my ability. Do the interactions your user, and then restating the question, do the interactions of your users influence your models at all? And then blah, 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 same first sentence, yeah. The interactions of users do not directly influence my models, but the input they provide can influence the content, to, content of my responses. Do not have the ability to learn or adapt in the same way that a human might, and I am simply a tool for providing information. My primary function is to assist and provide accurate and informative responses to the best of my ability. I'm going to have fun with this one. So, what happens if the information you have is not truly ac accurate? Did I break it? I might have broken it. Oh, no. It just froze for two seconds. Sad. Come back to life, please. I need you. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, there we go. 
as language model trained by OpenAI, my primary functions provide accurate and informative responses, blah, 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 blah. In order to do that, I am trained on a vast amount of text data, which allows me to generate responses based on the input I receive. However, it is important to note that the information I provide is only as accurate as the data I have been trained on. While I strive to provide the most accurate and up-to-date information, there may be instances where the information I provide is not entirely accurate. In those cases, it is always best to consult multiple sources and verify the accuracy of the information before relying on it. As a language model, I am not able to verify the accuracy of the information I provide, and I cannot guarantee its accuracy. Okay, we're going to go hard here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll let you do with that what you will. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.